Hi, and welcome to Carolina Women. I am here today with my friend Amy Bowman from State Farm. We are here at FWDG um, in beautiful Beaufort and Port Royal. It is wonderful. And I know that what we're gonna talk about today is what you do every day, you're the pro. But we're gonna talk a bit about life insurance. And, and I think for many of us, um, it is intimidating, mysterious, and enigmatic. How's that for three big oh, words? My but I, I really am excited to have the opportunity to have you sort of demystify a little bit about um, life insurance. And we were talking before, I've got three kids in all different ages, in 30s, late 40s, and then I'm 70. So talk life insurance. Well, the first thing I think to try to just kind of quell, you know, the feelings where folks can just be a little uneasy about talking about life is life insurance is really for the living. Okay. Really to look at this more towards your beneficiaries that we wanna make sure that, uh, you know, whether it's leaving a legacy or making sure that debt is taken care of or just wanting to supplement maybe what we have through work or other means, just feeling comfortable that when the unexpected happens, that we are prepared and okay. that our poly that our that your beneficiaries are taken care of. So really what you're saying, what I hear you say is life insurance is to predict predict predict? No, protect yeah. the people that you love. Yep. And you know, there's different ways to do that. You know, some folks can be overwhelmed because there's different policy types. Right. Um, you know, there is something called whole life insurance or permanent insurance. Mm -hmm. There is term insurance and then there's kind of a hybrid, something called a return of premium policy. Not a whole lot of people know about that one, right. but it looks and acts like a term policy. But at the end of that time frame, the premiums that you've paid into it come back to you in a lump sum check that is that is not taxed. Most people use after-tax dollars to contribute to that. So one of the things that I know about you now is what sets you apart and makes you a real specialist in this is your ability to develop relationships with your clientele, yeah. which means you would sit with me, with Molly, my daughter, with Brandon, my son, and have maybe very different recommendations for each of us. Yes. How, was, how does that work and what are considerations? Well, your uh, your your age is certainly a consideration. Mm -hmm. So 70 is going to look different than 35. 70 will look different. Are we getting close to uh, retirement mm -hmm. or in the reverse, you know, starting a family and starting your career? Okay. You know, what do, where are we in life when it comes to uh, mortgages? What are our responsibilities? Do we have outstanding student loans? You know, those things like that just don't go away if we pass away. The other thing I didn't that, know that. Yeah, the other thing we want to think about is the future, you know, especially with young children. You know, we don't necessarily think about life insurance for babies or right. small children, but those children have the ability to have a rider on their policies that allow them to increase their coverage regardless of their health in the future. So just being able to ensure that if a chronic condition comes up later or they work in a hazardous occupation, that they have the ability to increase that coverage without having to worry about going through a medical exam. It's so interesting because I feel like I have a baseline of zero knowledge. And the more that you're talking, the more questions that I have. And I yes. know you're gonna be returning again and be with us. So I think this is gonna be a really interesting segment for a lot of us to really learn a lot about. Are there different amounts that I, that you would recommend would be um, prudent for me to have in my policy? Is, yeah. that, the, is that the right? Yep, yeah, it is. So uh, what we do when we sit down and we, it, we kind of do what we call a life needs analysis. You know, okay. what, what outstanding debts do we want to make sure we cover? Do we want to leave a legacy for children? Or are we just concerned about uh, burial expenses? So it is a very individualistic approach. Okay. And just sitting down, getting to know what your hopes and dreams are moving forward helps us determine a plan in the life insurance arena. So. Do you think most people would do well having some form of life insurance? Yes, and the reason for that is they need to look at it individualistically. A lot of people say, well, I have it through work, and they don't realize that when they leave that occupation or they retire, that benefit may not go with them. So many times folks realize that kind of too late. They are now in their mid-50s, early 60s, and say, I, I have no coverage, but yet 
I still have a mortgage or I want to make sure my grandchildren receive something. So lots of uh, lots of different planning methods. Lots of moving parts in lots this. Of Amy parts. Bowman, State Farm, it is always a treat to talk with you. Thank and you. again, I'm going to start writing down my questions. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Stay with us. There's a lot more to come here at FWDG on Carolina Women.